Hey guys, I'm here in Amsterdam at the Museum Square and I'm going to talk with Bert Otten about my flying concept. I'm Bert Otten, uh, Professor of Neuromechanics in the University of Groningen, Human Movement Scientist. I'm studying human movements and assistive devices like prosthetics and I'm studying the way the brain uses assistive devices in moving. Hey Bert, I just sent you my concept um, of my uh, semi-human powered flying device mm -hmm. and I was wondering could you tell me if you think it's even possible to do things like that as a human being? Absolutely. There are of course technical problems like how are you going to get um, batteries that are not too heavy and can last for a while? How are you going to get engines that are not too heavy and produce enough power? You have to think about uh, almost 1000 watt. We can produce about 300 watts with our legs for a while. And, and with our arms? With our arms about 100 watt if you're very fit. So that's not enough to fly. But if you uh, add assistive engines to it, it could be done. And then the, the lovely thing would be that your movements would be uh, amplified with more force onto extra wings. And they don't even have to be very large wings. Um, they can be a few meters and if you flap them right, yes, you could be lifted off the ground. But you do need the right wing beat frequency, the right movements and the right force to get them down. Well, what do you think about our scope of flight if we are uh, depending on battery power? Well, that's a very good question because if you want to stay in the air for a long time, you need a lot of mass of batteries on board. Um, you can already fly now, we call it jumping, it lasts for just a second. Now if you want to stay in the air for a minute, you need a certain mass of batteries, but that's quite limited. So to be able to have the dream of flight for just a minute is certainly much easier than to fly, for instance, to another city. That takes quite a, a lot of mass uh, of batteries. Do you think our human body can uh, cope with the forces which will uh, come with, with a flight? Um, well, because of our mass and our bones, uh, that's not easy. If you've got big wings that you've got to drive, then the human arms would be too weak, they would break. But if you've got assistive wings uh, that have force transduction from the wings onto the engines, then it's no problem at all then the, the, the arms are not loaded by the wing forces. So if you've got wings that are self-carrying, then that's no problem at all.